Hey everybody, it is me, the Incredible Mr. Watson, and I am back here on YouTube. Um, this is my third time filming this video, so I hope it actually goes well this time. This is a new segment. This is the piano vlog series. Um, we will be at a piano, and we'll, we'll be vlogging. We'll chit-chat, we'll talk about music, we'll talk about what I'm playing, what I'm learning. Still learning. Don't judge. No harsh comments, please. Um... Although, you know, if you want to, sure, leave it. I don't care, but if you get ignored, then don't come crying to me. Anyway, moving on, without further ado, I will be playing a selection of three songs, two of which are Christian, and you can find in any Red Hymn book. And the other one, you will not find in any hymn book anywhere because it is A Thousand Years by Christina per Perry popularized by Twilight because who doesn't love Twilight moving on uh, without further ado Amazing Grace and I might just slowly switch to have I have decided to follow Jesus I'm I haven't decided yet I might decide mid moment anyway here we go I'm not perfect, but honey, nobody's perfect. I gotta work it again and again till I get it right. Um, waiting on you to get that reference. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, moving on to I have decided to follow Jesus. It's more a basic of a chord pattern. Um, Amazing Grace goes from G to G7, which is just, I play the simplified version, which is F and G, down here at the lower end, and then I play C, and then G again, there's an E minor in there, or E major, yeah, it's a capital M, look, I'm not a music theologist, or I'm not professional, so don't judge me. 
uh, there's E in there, and then it goes from E to D7, and from D7 back to D, and then from G to G7, which, wait, which is just two keys, and then from G7 back to C, and then to D, and then to E, and then D7, G. Now, I like to spice it up, as you may have noticed, um, when I played the, let's use the first verse of, as an example, um, when I moved from that saved a wretch like me, I did this number, which is going from B7 to E and back to D7. Um, just kind of spices it up a little bit, um, makes it a little different, adds, it, it adds the counting of the amount of time that you would normally just hold out. go back to D7 anyway, or no, D7, rather, my bad, I'm sorry, and then go back to E, regular plate on E, um, don't criticize, anywho, uh, moving on, uh, I have decided to follow Jesus is rather simple, um, it's C, C7, F, C, E, C, G7, and C. Um, actually, it's kind of like Amazing Grace, except it just adds an F. But it's more simple of a tune. And C is repeated more often, whereas this switches more often. This is more of a repeating the same kind of chord while playing the melody. Anyway, just give it a listen. See what you think. So that was Amazing Grace, and then I have decided to follow Jesus. Um, I, of course, have added on to them from what was written, basically. Um, we're going, we're going, we're going. Maybe I'll get to the music I'm trying to play. There it is, a thousand years. Um, now, this, the sheet music I got was from sheetmusicdirect.com. Um... It's a thousand years uh, from the Summit Entertainment film, The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 1. Um, <laughs> um, words and Music by David Hodges and Christina Perry. 
Um, there's all these copyrights and publishing marks and stuff like that that's boring. And I really don't care about. Um, I've changed it up a little to suit me um, to make it easier for me to play. It's still really pretty. It's very simple, but not simple enough. You know what I mean? It's Anyway, uh, so this is my version of A Thousand Years by Christina Perry. Um, it's lead sheet style is how it's written. Um, but, um, sorry, I'm fiddling with my pedal. I'm trying to get my pedal to not slide away from my foot. <laughs> it's awkward. Anyway, um, but I'm awkward, so I can relate. Moving on. Um, without further ado, here we go. Let me start that over. Um, my, I wasn't following the music. See, kids, it's it's important to actually follow and read your music. Whether you play partially by ear or not, it's always important to follow your music. Moving on. My apologies, um, not trying to insult anybody's ears here, I totally just had a brain fadoodle. Um, let me start over with the chorus. My bad, my bad, my bad, okay, hold on. promise I know what I'm doing um so sometimes when I play piano um this is more of the vlog part right now <laughs> more than piano but sometimes when I play piano I my brain just doesn't really function right does that make any sense or I'll be so used to playing one song that my brain has that like amazing grace and I used to play this song all the time. It used to be this song that got stuck in my head and messed up all other songs. But now it's Amazing Grace and um, I have decided to follow Jesus. Along with some other stuff, I'm working on some Phantom of the Opera music. So anyway, I'm used to playing those. So, it's like my brain malfunctions and, like, tries, like, that's what I was having problems with. Um, I'm going to turn the camera a little bit so you can see the position I'm playing in over here. Um, so this is C, middle C, and this is a lower C, then middle C. Um, anywho, but I'm so used on Amazing Grace for moving from this G to this C, G7, and 
stuff like that that in this song where it's basic chords that is like some of them are partial chords that fell in because um just because of how the song is written and so sometimes it's only like two fingers that I'm playing and I'm used to more complicated music if that makes any kind of sense like another example is sometimes after I go from playing this stuff I'll start playing the stuff in my books because I'm still in like a beginner level book. I just happened to pick up some stuff. My piano teacher, she is amazing. I absolutely love her. Shout out to you, Melissa. You are absolutely amazing. Um, she's one of the best piano players I know. Um, she's classically trained. She, I, I love her. I've loved her playing for a thousand years. Um, but, so, and this is the music that y'all can see right here. Like, this right here is what I've written in for the intro. Anyway, but so being used to that, she got me, she didn't get me, I kind of inserted the fact that I'd like to play some music maybe by lead sheet. Um, I was like, you know, because when I first started piano ironically there were all these commercials on tv talking about easy piano and how there was this whole system that taught you to play by leech sheet and i asked her about it and she was like you know i don't think there's a problem with it as long as you learn your theory and other stuff too so this stuff can be easy at some points but it can make my book work seem harder even though this is technically more me, this I would play out in public. I would not play the stuff that I play in like my music books, such as my Alfred, which like, I mean, we have, I mean, there's a couple cute little songs in there, but like songs like singing bass, like these learning things that are teaching you new things. Stuff like this, I mean, I love music in general, but it makes stuff like that seem a little harder for some reason to me. Or it's just, it's just not natural singing to me, I, uh, I guess, is what I'm looking for. The phrase I'm looking for. Um, oh, and my thing just kind of fell off the edge of my keyboard. Yeah. Okay. Luckily, there's like a window behind me, a really fluffy window. Like over here in the corner and it's kind of helping to hold up my camera um so yeah anyway back to it i'm gonna start over from i'm gonna loop the uh i'm gonna do the transition the one step closer um or where it's that part anyway um I'm going to play, pick up from that, and I'm going to go on. I'm going to continue. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in to my OCD to start over at the beginning and erase this entire video because, you know what? I feel that YouTubers need to show some of their mistakes sometime. sometimes. Not everybody's perfect. Not everybody's living this perfect life. Um, so, you know, I love YouTubers. I'm a YouTuber obviously hello <laughs> um anyway but um who else just goes around and films themselves except for weirdos and weird people bizarre people anyway i'm one of those people anywho but um i'm chasing rabbits today i do apologize um but so all these youtubers they only film the good times in life and you know there are good times and there are bad times. And it almost gives people like me somewhat of a false hope of a perfect life. Which, <clears throat> God bless me. You know, um, I do not apologize for sneezing on camera. Actually, um, I'm a human being and I sneeze. So, you know... Um, I'm a human being. I go through real things. I live life. I work a job. Unfortunately. I don't want to work a job. 
That is one thing. That's what I'm hoping this whole YouTube thing will do. Probably never in a thousand years will it happen for me, but I would I would absolutely love to be able to give up my job because YouTube is paying my bills. I mean, what? Anywho, probably not going to happen, but you know what? You guys can make that happen for me. So, hit that like button, subscribe, and become incredible like me. Hit the bell icon, get notified every time I upload a video, watch almost every video I upload, and share this video, I beg of you. I have no way to reach out but self-marketing, self-generated leads, um, I sort of am in sales and my grandma was in sales so I, I kind of know self-generated gotta put myself out there your best the best person that works for you is yourself um anyway so without further ado I shall get back to piano but you know it's called a piano vlog it's not called piano time or or titled a song with me just playing the song and not speaking. Which those videos are cool and kind of helpful, but they're also kind of weird. Like, no introduction, just next thing you know, just somebody's just playing the piano. And I'm like, okay, but why? You know what I mean? Like, unless it's a music video posted. Anyway, moving on. Uh, rant over. Um, squirrel, get back in the tree so that I, I stop chasing him. <laughs> Anyway, one step. part in the song that says and all along I believed I would find you that's where I am I'm gonna start over um, because I messed up the, the segue to that where it picks up kind of like a second chorus so we're gonna start over with that um, the end of the chorus
I can't resist. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so that was it. That was my collection of songs that I'm really, really good at. The ones that I'm normally not bad at. Um, of course, you get in front of a camera and things change. You wind up messing up more than you had hoped to. Um, but you know what? I'm all about living life with one take. You got one take. You got one chance in life. If you can't do it then, then you might as well go home. So, you know, I'm not giving up though. I'm, I'm continuing. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it didn't annoy you too much of me stopping and talking in the middle of songs. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you like this and would like to see more videos like this, subscribe, become incredible just like me. The Incredible Mr. Watson. I don't know. I need to figure out how to edit better. But coming soon, I will be getting an iPhone X. Right now, I have a Samsung Galaxy S6. And camera quality, as you can tell, is not the best. Android. You've done this to yourself. Just saying. Anyway, um... Like I said, subscribe if you'd like to. Become incredible just like me. If you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to be. Not everyone has to be incredible. And not everyone is incredible. I mean, come on. Um, anyway, also like this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. I like honesty. Honesty is the best policy. That's what I live my life by. Anyway, also, you thought that was... You thought that was like an outro. No, I'm not that cool. I'm not that good at editing. I told you that already. Anyway, um, also, I'm putting my Facebook down below. Please go give that page some like and attention. I really would like to do more things on the Facebook page. But right now, it's kind of only the people who are on my friends list for my actual Facebook page that I have invited from there. So, I would love to have some of my actual subscribers on there because I've looked and I've double checked and the people who like that page don't necessarily subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, I'm like, you're following a YouTuber on Facebook that you don't watch anyway. <laughs> Um, please do subscribe. Please give this video a like. Go like my Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description below. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Um, if you missed my last four videos, um, go check those out. I did a collab with a Melody from Melody Melodious Photography. I can't speak English. Um, I try, but I fail a whole lot. Um... That's <laughs> thinking English. But what we did with that is we um, we went through Walmart and it was a scavenger hunt and it was Bible themed. Go check it out. Parts 1 through 4 are there. It's kind of a lengthy series and a bunch of lengthy videos to watch. But it's really interesting. I had a lot of fun. She had a lot of fun. It was a great time and I hope you enjoy it. Um, I also hope you learned some things about it. Uh, if you hear anything in that video that you would like to know more about, please let me know. Um, like the Facebook page and message me there. Um, I would like to tell you all that I can about Jesus and, um, what he's done for me. And maybe I'll do a testimonial video later on, but, you know... I'm not ashamed of who I am. I'm a Christian and I strongly believe that some good things are going to happen um, out of that video. I believe that hopefully it will influence somebody, it'll make somebody's day, or it'll just help people to know that not all people are bad people, you know? Anyway, not all YouTubers are you know, psycho crazy. I mean, I am psycho crazy, but you know, um, I love Jesus. 
Um, he made me who I am, so, you know. And I'm sure he loves every bit of me. Um, <laughs> I know he loves every bit of me. Um, I mean, I can just feel God's love in a church service, you know. We're not going to get into all of that because that'll make this video that much longer and it's already at 31 minutes. I've already spent an episode of Fairly Odd Parents on you guys. Okay, I could be watching Fairly Odd Parents right now. Do you realize that? You realize that I love y'all so, so much and I do thank you and appreciate each and every one of my viewers. Um, subscribe, <laughs> like, click bake, click, click, like, 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 like. I don't know. I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with y'all guys. Anyway. Peace. Talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. What was that? Let's try this again. Ready? Set. Peace. There we go. See, my fingers separated that time. Bye.